Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another smart contract hacking tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the Swiss Army knife for the smart contract auditor. And I'm talking about Solodit. This is a full comprehensive Solodit guide. And today we're gonna learn what is Solodit, what kind of features it has, how to use it properly. And I'm gonna share some alpha tips of how I use the Solodit tool. So without further ado, let's Let's get started. So this is Solodit and it's an amazing web application which aggregates all the vulnerabilities for different public auditing contests and also private audit reports. It's a huge database with an amazing interface and search options and it's going to aggregate for you all the vulnerabilities and all the findings that other auditors found in previous reports, either if it's public or private audit reports. And as you can see, this is the Solodit website. You will have to sign up with your email in order to create an account and here on the left side you have a filter and search option where you can basically narrow down to specific findings and specific vulnerabilities in the middle here you will see the results for your search and on the right you will see a details about the selected finding which you select here in the results solidit also offers dark mode which is super cool and useful the filter and search option is very, very nice and you can use it to narrow down your search and find the right findings that you are interested in. For example, let's say I want only vulnerabilities that were found in Code Arena contests and I want only high severity findings. I can also specify a specific finder, who found it, which kind of user, how many findings were found in this particular report, other filters like quality score and generalization score, protocol and keywords. The keywords input is very useful because it lets you narrow down specific vulnerabilities based on your liking and your needs. Let's say we want to find re-entry attack vulnerability in Code Arena and only high severity findings. So I'm gonna write here re-entry and click the search button. And then as you can see here, it's gonna narrow down and filter only Codarina high severity findings, which you have the keyword re-entry either in the title or in the content of the finding. And as you can see, we have here several findings, two pages as results. And now we can choose every single finding to learn about re-entry attacks and from previous reports in Codarina. For example, let's pick here the re-entry in buy function for ERC 77 tokens allows buying funds with considerable discount. It's a finding from 2022 from the Caviar contest. And once I select the finding, I can see that here on the right side, it opened the particular finding. I can also click here in order to open it in a new tab in a more comfortable way for reading and analyzing. And here you will have all the description of the finding on which lines of code the vulnerability was, the vulnerability details, including the description and the impact, a proof of concept, and of course, a mitigation supposed to be somewhere here in the bottom. Mitigation steps, how to avoid and prevent this vulnerability. Now, another super cool feature that doesn't work on all the findings, but only on some of them, for example, in this one, is the GPT summary. This feature summarizes for you the finding using GPT-3, and this is very useful if you're time limited and you don't have time to run through the whole finding. You can just read the summary, and in case you need more details, you can go into the details tab and complete the gaps. There are also two other cool new features, which are discussions and notes. Discussions is a feature that allows you to share your ideas with other auditors and about this vulnerability, your insights, your ideas, and other resources about the vulnerability. And notes, it's private notes where you can write about this vulnerability and keep it in your account for later. Some kind of bookmarks together with notes, then you can also use this bookmark filter button in order to filter only out of the vulnerabilities that you bookmarked in the past.
Going back to the ERC-777 vulnerability, you can see that here it was a vulnerability about the functions add, remove, buy, and sell, which are vulnerable to re-entry attack in case the token that is being used is ERC-777 because this token makes a callback after a transfer and before a transfer. You can also click here at the link in order to open the original contest where the vulnerability was found. And if you want to find this particular vulnerability, in the original Coderina report, you can click here view report and it will take you to the actual finding. And this is the finding as you can see, re-entry scene by function and you can read it directly in Code Arena website. So for every vulnerability, Solidit refers to the original report, the original finding, either if it's Code Arena, Sherlock, or just Spear Bit Audit. If you need more expertise to be able to easily understand the findings in audit reports like re-entry attacks and ERC-777 tokens, luckily there is something in the space which you can use. With more than 30 chapters and 50 hands-on exercises built based on real-world scenarios, you will get a structured approach to learning and mastering the skill of smart contract hacking. You will learn and become a pro in a range of concepts and practices, from beginner-friendly level to advanced, used by top auditors, taught by top auditors in the industry. By completing the course and becoming proficient in subjects like flash loans, DAO and governance attacks and oracle manipulation, you will be able to identify and create POCs of critical security flaws in smart contracts, making you invaluable asset to any blockchain project. Since day one, students take this course up not only as an opportunity to gain knowledge, but to unlock a chance to secure an auditor position and join a vibrant Discord community of like-minded specialists in the field for evolving as a professional and embarking on the journey together. Do not miss this chance to level up your skills and become a certified smart contract hacker. Enroll now and get a time-limited discount by following the link in the description below. And the best thing is that the more time passes, they add more and more sources and parse more vulnerabilities and more findings into the platform. Currently, they support Coderina, Sherlock, Halborn, Spirit, Open Zeppelin, and Consensus. All right, guys, now that you understand how Solidit works and how to use it, now it's time for me to share with you some alpha tips of how I use Solidit, if it's for learning purposes or my auditing job. So Solidit is a great tool in order to learn new subjects. For example, let's say you want to learn about flash loan attacks. You can simply just reset here the search bar, okay? And then you can just search the keyword flash loan, okay? Now you will get all the relevant findings for flash loans attacks. So you can set a day, maybe one of the day of the weekends or several hours in the evening where you go through flash loan attacks and just read some auditing findings from different reports, Sherlock, Spirit, or any other reports. Now, let's say you are just starting and you want to improve your skills in finding gas optimizations, finding and report them in Coderina and Sherlock, you can just clear the impact and search here for gas, right? So you can search for gas, narrow down the search and learn about gas optimization and eventually be able to submit a valid gas optimization finding in one of the auditing contests. Or maybe you decided that you want to learn from a specific auditing firm, for example, Spirit. So instead of going to their repository and website, you can just search here for Spirit bit and then it will basically aggregate all the audit reports all the findings from the reports it's gonna show you a pdf file which you can enlarge and open in a new tab and it's very convenient in order to cover you can cover first highs then mediums then lows in order to learn from one of the best auditing DAOs out there Another super useful tip from me to you is that you can narrow down for a specific protocol. Let's see there is upcoming contest in Code Arena which you want to participate in and it's going to be an NFT marketplace or maybe another version of OpenSea. You can go to Solidate and search for OpenSea and then you can see all the findings from previous auditing reports where OpenSea protocol got audited. If it's in Code Arena in that case, sometimes it could be also private audits in Halborn or Spiritbit or open Zeppelin. So this is another huge advantage where you can filter down specific protocol.
Now, when I said that Solidit is the Swiss army knife for the smart contract auditor, I really meant it because it's not only a tool for learning purposes, but you can actually use it while auditing a protocol, either if it's a public contest or a private audit. For example, I audited a protocol with ERC-1155 tokens, and it was very useful for me to find common vulnerabilities that are related to ERC-1155 tokens. You can simply do it, but just by searching here, ERC-1155, right? And it will give you all the findings and all the reports related to ERC-1155 tokens. So in case you miss something, you can make sure to go through all the findings related to ERC-11555 tokens and make sure that you didn't miss a vulnerability that might be exploited later by a bad actor or a black hat hacker. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.